Welcome to Atelier number 4. Before you come in, you will need to approve the following conditions. First, our conversation and your voice will be relayed in some parts of the building. That means people will be able to hear our conversation taking place in the Atelier number 4. You will also have to agree to be photographed as an important part of this project. When you come in, you will have the chance to use the clay, paper and pen at your disposal in order to facilitate the conversation. You are not forced to use them. The conversation itself is the main media of Atelier No. 4. Model the clay whilst we talk. Draw concepts on paper that perhaps facilitate and make clearer certain concepts that otherwise would be hard to explain. Do whatever you like within the limits of respect. Our conversation has no time limit unless you or I decide to end it by simply communicating it to each other. Before entering, please look at the door of Atelier number 4. If the light is red, Please, wait for your turn until the red light changes colour. If the light is in other tonalities, then feel free to come in. I am looking forward to meeting you and shaping our conversation. Death, God, equality and freedom are only portals to an undefined conversation that might lead to opening new doors. If you agree to the conditions listed, please pick a door card. Notice, there is a different topic written on each door. Which one appeals more to you in this precise moment? Which door would you like to open right now? Pick up one of the cards. And when you come in, bring it with you into the room and give it to me. Imagine opening the door you have picked up when you come into Atelier number 4. Close your eyes for a moment. There is a door in front of you. A door which contains the topic chosen by you. Open it. Open your eyes. If you are ready, come in. all in the process of coming to accommodation with death and what it means because obviously when we're looking at what we're doing in our lives. And that protected me and she started to cry because she saw that I was, wasn't was scared. I am very dying. So it's good to, yeah, to leave it to the memory for a while and change. What do you think is the relationship between God and forgiveness? When we understand each other, mm. that's how I see it. Mm. So, absolutely. All right. Because I love life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And it's part of life. Yeah. In the back of it. Yeah, the side you want. As to, uh, you can, uh, if you want, but you can I, use um, a tissue there. But I
nobody. We we don't know who we are anymore with all this. And that's the freedom of your body, not your consciousness. Yeah. Hope, 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 These cables, I suppose they're a bit like the vines. Yeah. And, uh, you, and you have them on these pylons, which are a bit like trees, and all the vines are connected up to the trees. But the picture for me, that we represent the kind of connection we had. If yeah. if how how if better your life has been, yeah. how much money you've got, yeah. everyone dies. So the freedom to, the freedom just to, when I was, when I was small, I was to steal this shit, yeah? I was yeah. to, to get this, like this, yeah? Yeah. 